happy Memorial Day. I hope everyone got to go outside and enjoy the sunshine and slightly warmer temperatures that we had today before. The massive storm rolled through eastern Idaho. We had lots of lightning, some strong rainfall going through, but that is starting to head into Wyoming, getting close to the Afton area. They'll start to see the bulk of the storm that we saw this evening. As we zoom out with our storm tracker radar, though, you can see a lot of activity going on. We still have that cloud coverage, which is actually keeping temperatures fairly mild this evening, and more rain showers rolling through our area. Now, those rain showers are going to continue you until the next couple of days. So you may have thought this morning when you woke up and saw the sun that things were changing, but unfortunately not quite yet. We're still going to see more moisture in the next couple of days. 55 in Idaho Falls, 53 in Blackfoot, currently 54 in Pocatello. And like I said, that blanket of cloud coverage over us is really keeping these temperatures fairly nice for us out there as we're going to continue to see more moisture into the evening. As we can see tonight in the snake, we're playing 30% chance of showers continuing overnight, mostly cloudy skies, 47 in Idaho Falls, 49 in Pocatello. Then for the Central Mountains, they'll also have those hit or miss showers throughout the evening. And then for the Highlands in Western Wyoming, showers and even thunderstorms possible. In some areas like Jackson, those storms could develop some small hail overnight. 36 in Afton, 43 for the overnight low in Driggs, 41 in Island Park. Now for tomorrow's forecast, unfortunately, you still are going to have to hold on tight to that umbrella because we will have showers likely again for the Snake River Plain. Mostly cloudy skies, 67 in Idaho Falls, 68 in Pocatello, 69 in Blackfoot. Winds are going to pick up between about 10 to 15 miles per hour with gusts over 20 miles per hour as those storms start to roll through. Then for the Central Mountains, they have showers likely in the afternoon. Also with those thunderstorms possible, 70 in Salmon, 69 in Chalice, 63 in Mackey. And tomorrow for the Highlands in Western Wyoming, well, you're not going to be left out. You also will have showers likely, 60 in Island Park. 54 in Afton, 60 in Jackson. So will we ever dry out? That's the million dollar question a lot of us have been asking. Pocatello's six day forecast shows you that we do have that possibility of dry conditions over the weekend. I'm not going to lie though, there is a slight chance of those showers currently. We'll continue to track that as we get closer to the weekend. But for right now, I'm going to remain optimistic and say that we're going to have mostly sunny skies on Saturday with a high of 78 degrees, 80 by Sunday. I know I've been dreaming about those warmer temperatures as we've been remaining in the city. 60s for the past couple of weeks. For Idaho Falls, six day forecast. Also, those rain showers the next couple of days. Just a slight chance over the weekend, but mostly sunny skies on Saturday. High of 75 degrees, 79 by Sunday. Then for the Rexburg six day forecast, they'll also have rain showers the next couple of days, and then we'll start to clear up a little bit. 74 just in time for the weekend, 77 on Sunday. And for the Teton area, six day forecast will have rain showers the next couple of days. And then hopefully they'll also start to see a just a second. We're trying to get to the next graphic here. We have to tell you about the Teton areas. There we go. Big surprise there. More clouds and rain showers and possibilities of thunderstorms throughout the next couple of days. Then hopefully clearing up just in time for the weekend 72 on Sunday. So